Hello, my name is Maria from mathmammoth.com. In this lesson, we're studying stem and leaf plots. Now, stem and leaf plots are kind of, they resemble bar graphs that are set on sideways, where we use the numbers to build the bars. And let us use this example to show how it works. The number of text messages some college students sent in one day. So, for example, one student sent three messages and another student sent 21 messages and so on. Now, the stems go here and they will be the tens digits of these numbers. And then the ones digits will be the leaves. So I'll check first what kind of tens digits do I have here in my data. There's zero tens and a one ten, two and three and four. So for stems I need to write zero, one, two, three and four. Then for the leaves, I take the ones digits. Zero, then two, three, five, eight. So for example, five here, it means this particular data item. And then this one, 11, will be written here as one, ten, and one. I just write the ones digit. Then 13 will be one, ten, and three. And then this 13, I just write the three here. And then five, 5, 5, and then 6, 6, and then 7, 7, 9, 9, 9. Okay? And then 21 goes here, 2 tens and 1. There's 2 of those, and then there's 22, 23, 23, 25. Okay, and then I come to 30, goes here, 32, here, and 47, here. And now it resembles a bar graph sideways. If you kind of look at it kind of like this, turn your head like that, you will see the peak of the data being here in the tens. And uh, now we can also figure out the median. Since this data is in order already, I can use this. Or I could use the stem and leaf plot itself to find the median. There's 27 entries here, or items, so it will be the 14th item that will be the median. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 13, 14. This is the median, 17. And it fits here into the peak of the data. Here are prices for a loaf of bread, maybe in eight different stores or something. So this would be dollar amounts. This time, when I make the stem and leaf plot, I cannot use the tens and ones digits as stems and leaves. Instead, this time I will use these last digits as my leaves, and then take this 2.3, 2.4, those ones, as my stems. So I would have here 2.1, this is the smallest one, 2.1, there's 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. So those will be the stems. 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and 2.4. This data is not in order, so I need to be careful. Write the leaves there. This is the smallest number here, so it goes here. Okay, and then this one, like that, then 2.2 somethings, I have 2.27, 2.27, and then I have 2.3 somethings, this 3, 2.30, 2.31, and 2.35, okay, and lastly 2.49. So the stem and leaf plot is ready now. It is a pretty even distribution. There is a little bit of a peak here, but not much. Let's also figure out the median. This time let's use the plot here. And we had eight items. So it will be, the middle item will be the average of the fourth and fifth one. So here's first, second, third, fourth. This would be the fourth item. This would be the fifth item. 
Oh, actually, the items are 2.27 and 2.30. So it's basically these two, 2.27, 2.30. So the average of those will be the median. Okay, it will be two point. Then you can think of the average of 27 and 30, or the midpoint of 27 and 30, which would be 285. So that's the median in this case. Lastly, we're going to make a double stem and leaf plot to compare two sets of data. It's also called a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot. And the two sets of data are test results of two quizzes. Maybe it was the same group of students taking two quizzes at two different times, for example. And quiz one is here, quiz two here. For the stems, I'm again going to use the tense digits. This time I need to check both sets of data. What kind of tense digits are there? The 70, 80, 90. Here it starts with 50 something. So I need to go from 50 till 90. So the stems will start with 5, 5 tenths. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And now the leaves for quiz 1, I will start with 72. So it's here, 70, and then the leaf goes here. So this is 72. And then 75, 76, and 77. Next one is 80, 81, 84, 87, and then lots more, and 2, 8, so almost running out of space. And then 90, and then 5, and 9. Okay? And then the quiz 2, over here, we start with 55, so 50, 5 and 58. And then 60s, we have 63, 65, 66 two times, 67 two times, and 69. And then in the 70s, we have two 70s, then 72, 75, then 78. In the 80s, 82 and 89. Okay, now it should be all done. Now let's compare. Can you tell which quiz went better? That's easy, of course, even looking at the numbers themselves. We can see that this quiz here went a lot better for the students. Okay, can you tell in which test the quiz results varied more? You can tell that from the stem and leaf plot too. Over here, they vary less because they are just within this range, whereas over here, the range is more. And now let's also check the medians, okay? I could use the original sets of data here because they are in order. And there's one, two, three, four, there's an even number. So the median will be the average of 87 and 87, which is 87. And for this one, it will be the average of 67 and 69, which is 68. It's quite a drop in the median between these two quizzes. And the median for the quiz 1 is in this peak of the data. And the median for the quiz 2, 68, is here. It's in this peak of the data too. Okay. And stem and leaf plots are nice, as you can see, because you can see the distribution of the data. You can see the shape of the data, you know, kind of like what type of bar graph it would make, so to speak. And you can use the numbers to actually calculate the median. But they have their drawbacks too. For example, if you had a very big set of data, say thousands of items here, then you could not easily draw a stem and leaf plot. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.